हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज़ स्पर्श एंड वेलकम बैक इन अनदर वीडियो ऑन जस्ट अटेक यूट्यूब चैनल सो टुडे इज़ अ वेरी एक्साइटिंग वीडियो फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू गाइस दोज हु आर वेटिंग फॉर आईओएस 14 जेल ब्रेक इट्स हेयर नाउ चेक्रेन हैज़ फाइनली रिलीज देयर लेटेस्ट वर्जन दैट इज़ जीरो पॉइंट बीटा इन विच दे हैव गिव सपोर्ट फॉर आई ओ एस जेल ब्रेक बट देर आर सम चेंजेस इन दिस अपडेट and it's very important to all of you guys to watch the video carefully because some of the models are compatible and some of the models are not compatible so i will show you everything in this video it's full windows tutorial i will show you step by step how to run checkrain on windows machine using my custom iso file so you will get everything in this video so watch the video very carefully so without wasting time let's jump to the computer screen and start the process all right first i will tell you some important changes in the new checkrain update it's very important for all of you who want to jailbreak with checkrain so here is the official website of checkrain and you will see the latest 0.11.0 beta version of checkrain it's available for both mac os and linux system but i will show you the windows method with my custom iso file in this update many things are changed in the previous update of checkrain 0.10.2 You can jailbreak 5s to iPhone X and supported iPad models up to the iOS 13.7. And with this new update of Checkrain, you can jailbreak the latest iOS 14 also, but for some device only. You can see all the bug fix and the changes in this update with the official website. I will give the links in the description. You can read all. You can see the primarily support of iOS 14. all the supported models and the supported processor hips are listed here so you can read all this initially the devices that are supported with the this checkrain version that is iphone 6s iphone 6 plus and iphone se first generation and ipad models ipad fifth generation ipad air 2 ipad mini 4 ipad pro first generation apple tv 4 so only these models are supported in this version in ios 14 jailbreak and the other upcoming update in which iphone 7 7 plus ipad 6 and 7 generation ipod touch and ipad pro second generation model will be supported so basically if you have a a9 to lower chipset you can jailbreak with checkrain from ios 12.0 to the latest 14 ios version and if you have a iphone 7 7 plus and the other model you have to wait for the one week to release the checkrain new version update now let's move further to start the checkrain jailbreak windows process First you have to check out the description blog link where you will find the checkrain iso file so you will get the first zip file you have to first extract it you can use the winrar and any other zip extractor after that just open the checkrain jailbreak iso 14 by just tick folder now you will see three files These two are the same it's a instruction file if you are unaware of the checkrain jailbreak and the iso bootable making process you can go through this after that just open the folder again now you will get the checkrain iso file now the next thing you will need is you will need a tool called rufus so just google it you will get the rufus for free you can download the 0.11 that is latest version so after download just open the rufus tool Now you will need a USB stick. Just insert your USB stick. After that it will show the your USB name and the storage. Just click on select to select the ISO file. Now import the ISO file. After that select the partition schema. If you are a MBR select the MBR. If you have a GPT partition table you can select the GPT. After that just click on start. Click on okay. And it will start making the USB bootable. Now it's completed. You have to just close the Rufus tool and reboot your PC. Now the next step is you have to go to your BIOS settings and boot manager setting you have to select your pen drive to boot My custom ISO support UEFI and the legacy BIOS both so you can run it on the new PC and if you have a old PC with the legacy BIOS you can use that it support Intel AMD 32 bit and 64 bit processor both 
so you can easily run on any system this is the UEFI mode I will show you both the modes so as you can see 0 0.11.0 check in latest version now I will just quit it and show you the legacy BIOS mode now just type on the reboot now this is the old legacy BIOS for the old PC now just wait for it, it automatically load the check in jailbreak. So now you can use this custom ISO file to boot it check in on any PC. After that just connect your device. So I am using iPhone SE first generation, it is supported iOS 14. So you can check out the check in official website for the supported device list in this update. Now you can clearly see that I am running on iOS 14 on iPhone SE and it is supported. You don't have to allow any untested iOS version. And in the next upcoming update with this week, Checkrain will fix other device also. So stay tuned to my channel and my social media for the latest information. Now your device into recovery mode. Now you have to put your device manually into DFU mode by following the instruction on the screen. Now it's booting that means Checkrain is running perfectly on the iOS 14 on the 0 0.11.0 beta version. Now it's all done that means jailbreak is completed just click on all done. Now you can disconnect your cable. After that you will see the Checkrain icon on your home screen connect with your Wi-Fi. Sometime it will take 10 to 15 seconds to appear the check in on the home screen. So just wait. Now as you can see the check in icon is my, on my home screen. Just open it. Now just click on install Cydia. Now CDI is installed, just open the CDI and update all the packages. Now you can use the CDI and the check in. Now it's completely working, as you can see CDI is properly installed and you can see my iOS version. It's iOS 14 on my iPhone SE first generation. Let me show you from the settings also. So you can see the software version and the build version. So this is how you can jailbreak with the Checkrain on the iOS 14 supported devices. So you can check out the Checkrain official website for the complete information and wait for the next upcoming update in which they will fix all other devices also. For quitting the Checkrain just quit the Checkrain app and type the reboot command on the terminal and hit enter. After that just remove your USB stick and you will get back to your Windows machine. So that's all for today. I hope you like this video and gain some knowledge from it. For this hit the like button on this video and if you're new here subscribe to my channel for more cool updates. So till then goodbye take care and peace out.